Hello everybody and welcome to another Tom's Garage Fix video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to use one of these. This is an OBD2 reader. I'm going to be showing you just how to use the basic functions of one of these. To view codes, the erase codes and the live data functions of this particular model. If you're interested in this, this is the Ansel AD310. I will link a product link to Amazon in the description below if you're interested in this particular model. It's very handy and it's very, very affordable. So why don't we just go ahead and jump straight into how to use the basic features. I'm gonna be showing you where your OBD2 port is. Now in every single car, it's going to be down there underneath the steering column. You should find a little port that you can plug your OBD2 reader straight into and I'm just gonna show you quickly how to do that. So what you're gonna go ahead and do is plug your OBD2 reader into the port as instructed. It's going to ask you to turn the ignition on. So if you're in a push start car, just go ahead and push your start stop button without putting your foot on the brake. This is going to activate the ignition. If you're in a keyed car, then just turn the ignition on to the point where all the electronics come on and you'll be good to go. Once you've got all the electronics on, you're going to want to press the enter button. Wait for the car to respond to your action. So you're going to come to a diagnostic menu. You're going to have read codes, erase codes, and live data. These are the three most basic functions that I'm going to be talking to you about today. So read codes is simply as it, what it said. If you, have, if you have a check engine light and you have any codes, it will display them right here. And then you can look up the code. And the great thing that I like about this particular model is that I will insert a picture right now of the um, status of this. My Passat had a check engine light. It was a misfire on cylinder three. It told me how much it was going to cost to fix. That's what I really love about this model. Moving on, once you've figured out your codes, once you've fixed the problem, go ahead and go down to erase codes and go through, this, go through the menu there. You just press enter, enter again, and it's going to erase all of your check engine codes that you previously have fixed. Live data is pretty neat as well. It just tells you what the coolant temperature is, what the, your throttle load is, what your RPM is. And as you can see from here, like RPM a minute, I've got the car off, but you can run this with the car on. It will tell you your RPM per, or revs per minute. It will tell you the coolant temperature and a bunch of other different units that I have no idea what they mean. So this is how really to use the basic functions of one of these. Always refer to your owner's manual because that tells you a lot of details on how to use one of these things. But these are going to be compatible for cars older than 1996. If you've got a Mercedes that, I don't know which model it is, but if you've got a Mercedes that's around 94, 95, then you may have an exception. But that is how to use the basic functions of this particular OBD2 reader. If you, again, if you like this OBD2 reader, I'm going to link a Amazon product link in the description below to go so you can go and check it out if in case you like it If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing You might like my other videos of me working on my 2003 Volkswagen Passat I hope you enjoy the video. Hope you give it a hope you give it a thumbs up It really helps me out a lot and I hope you go and check out all my other videos on my channel Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye